While it's possible to enter data manually into Jamovi, it's an awkward process, and it's much better to save the data in a spreadsheet, either from Google Sheets, Excel, or some other program, and then import it directly. And fortunately, that's easy to do in Jamovi. Here I have a blank window, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to import several different spreadsheets or other formats. So first, I want you to see the files themselves. What I have are four files with the same data in it, but they're in different formats. This first one is an XLSX file. It's Excel, or really it's the Excel's open XML format. And you can see we've got an ID number, recorded date and response ID, then we have five questions, Q1 through five, and then a zip code at the end. And it's a very simple data set. Now I have the same information saved as a CSV file, which stands for comma separated values. This is the really most common version of a spreadsheet that basically anything can read. And we've got the same data. It's shown a little bit differently here on my Mac when I do a quick view, but it's the same data. You can also save it as a text file where you have tabs separating the values. And actually I did this in Excel, just saved it as text. And you can see again, although it's arranged a little differently, it's the same data. And then finally, I have the same data in an spss.sav file. Now, it may be depending on what you have on your computer, if you click on this, it'll give you variable definitions when you do a quick view. But right now, it's not showing me anything. But here's the interesting thing, Jamovi can import most of these, but not all of them. Let me go back to Jamovi. What I do is I come over to the menu here with the three horizontal lines and I hit open. And you'll see that it's able to open several different kinds of files. Of course, Jamovi files and then CSV and text files. It's able to open SPSS files, Stata files, SAS files, and JASP, which is another program created by several of the same developers of Jamovi. Looks very similar, but operates a little differently. And so these are the options. Now, let's come up here to browse and I'm going to go to my desktop. Uh, desktops right there. And what you see now is the XLSX is grayed out. I can't open a native Excel file. But that's okay. Because if you're in Excel, you just save it as CSV and you're good to go. So let's start with the CSV file. This is the most common kind of file that you would be importing. All I got to do is double click on this. And then it opens up in Jamovi. And there we have our data. Let me move this one over a little bit. Perfect. It's formatted. And you can see that it even changed the data types to match pretty much what's in there. Now I'm going to show you how to do data definitions in later video. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. But this is the CSV file. Now let me show you what it's like when we open the text file. Again, I'll come to open. And because I have this one folder open, it's my desktop, I can just hit import text, I double click on that. It takes just a moment. And here you see the data looks exactly the same, there's no difference. And then finally, we're going to do the SPSS file. And you'll see with this one, there is a small difference. I'm going to come here to import.sav, that's the SPSS data file. I click on that. And what's different here is that in SPSS, you have labels on your values. And so for instance, you see the variables Q1 through Q5. In the other ones, they were just the numbers one through five. Here they have labels on them. Although you should know that the numbers are underneath. I'm going to just double click on this. And when we open that up, you can see strongly disagree is a one, disagree is a two. And in fact, Jamovi can still treat these as numeric variables the same way you would do in SPSS if you had a variable with value labels. I'm going to close that. Now there is one other thing. Uh, SPSS really didn't like having the date and the time in the same thing. So they had to get split into two. But that's a trivial thing. And so you can see that if you have the data in a spreadsheet, you got it in an SPSS or SAS or some other format, it's a very quick and easy process to import that data into Jamovi. It reads the formats, it reads the labels, and then you're good to go.